From Provence's hilltop towns to Saint Tropez's glamorous shenanigans. Get ready to float down a gorge, visit a Dior cafe, and soak up the provincial vibes as you explore the south of France. We decided to hop in the car and head to Gourds for the day, with our first stop being Abbey Notre Dame de Sonoc. We had pre-booked our tickets for a tour through the Abbey, and although this tour is only offered in French, we were offered English audio guides. The Abbey was founded in 1148 under the patronage of a group of Cistercian monks. The building is an amazing example of French Middle Ages architecture, and during the summer it is surrounded by lavender fields. The Abbey is still functioning today, and we loved hearing the monks call to prayer and wandering through the beautiful cloisters. So we've just arrived in Provence. We're currently in the little town of Gords. We just went and had a look at the Abbey. Oh, there's some really cool markets on. So today's a Tuesday, Tuesday morning. They seem to be packing up now that it's lunchtime. It's a really cute town, super provincial, and I highly recommend visiting. When we left Gourds, we decided to take a more rural route. Um, we did this just by avoiding tolls because we thought that would mean that we avoided the highways and it did. It has been so gorgeous. We're only like a third of the way through and we've already driven through two beautiful towns. We're in Aison Provence, which I guess is kind of the capital of Provence and it is the city of fountains. So there's one behind us. I think maybe we've seen seven or eight so far. <laughs> There's somewhere else on this trip that said we going to be heaps of fountains as well. Yeah, so we're also going to burn in Switzerland, which has the same claim to fame, so we'll have to tell you. Keep count, see which yeah. one's got more fountains. <laughs> we're on a fountain tour. But it's really cute. It is the city, but it still has a very um, strong country vibe. Lots of outdoor terrace yeah. eateries. And... We're in the city now where it's only a 10 minute drive and you're yeah. in the wineries <laughs> and proper countryside again, but it's beautiful. It's super cute, we're having a great day. So Grace is getting her hair done, so I'm out exploring on my own. But seriously, how gorgeous are all these streets? It's just ridiculous in the old town, part of the town here. Um, every street is just so cute. Hotel de Camont is an art centre in central Aixon, Provence. The hotel is a fully restored private mansion from the 18th century. Inside the museum, we saw some restored reception rooms along with an art exhibition, but the real highlight was taking a break and enjoying the beautiful sunshine in the manicured gardens. Provence has just been incredibly pretty. Like all of these European towns that we're going through, it's sort of hard to pick a favourite, but these manicured gardens and the buildings and alleys that we've been walking through, so, so nice. Certainly a very attractive city and the countryside surrounding it as well, so hasn't been a disappointment at all. So we just picked up our fancy boats. We're here at Gorgeous Devon, which is something I've been looking forward to this whole trip. It's a shame that we've got it's a little bit sunny at the moment, but it's gonna be a little bit overcast later and rain might come this afternoon, so hopefully it holds out. But the photos of this gorge look unreal, so I'm so excited. Um, I'll put the drone up later and hopefully get some good footage, but we're just in a little electric boat, which just hired for three hours for 58 euro. Um, steaming down the river at a rate of knots, but it's already looking so beautiful, so hopefully it's gonna be an incredible day, but I'm very excited. Having such a good time. It's already so gorgeous. So so pretty. I don't think I've ever seen water this blue, green. Water. It's already such a highlight of the trip, just moving slowly in the boat through the middle of the gorges. Hands on the boat, you take your photos, you gotta steer. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I turn around you know, and driving properly. <laughs> So we're at Moussia Sainte Marie. It is this gorgeous hilltop village. It's very, very busy, so I would recommend. So busy. Maybe because it's a public holiday today, in yeah. France, so that might be why it's even It's also busier. not quite peak season yet, so I would recommend getting here early to nab a parking spot. We've got the very last one. We've got a really 
fun walk up right the hill. Right on top of the hill, <laughs> and it's a steep hill. You can't see it was a mountainous village here, so we got a really steep hill back to the car. But it was about a 45 minute um, drive from where we hired the boats at Verdon Gorge. And which would also be about 50 minutes from... Um, from Aix or Provence. Yeah. Um, very pretty, super picturesque. It's been, it's listed one of the most pretty towns in France. And it's sprinkling down on us at the moment, but uh, it's not going to dampen our spirits, it's still beautiful. <laughs> we'll take you around with us. There is no better way to spend a day than strolling through the beautiful alleys of Saint-Tropez, Plage de la Plonge and perusing high-end designer stores. While Peter had to refrain me from purchasing Hermes bags and Chanel shoes, we were happy to splurge on a delicious lobster roll at Omer Lobster and sit at a bar overlooking the marina, people watching while enjoying a bottle of champagne. rows of yachts, where else could we be other than Saint-Tropez for two nights? <laughs> These are just some of the small ones as well, there's lots of much, much bigger ones that we've seen and we just love googling who owns them and what their history are, if they're Russian oligarchs or <laughs> you know, bankers, how they've made their money, so that's our little fun fact is seeing the biggest boat and googling their name and finding out how much they cost and who owns them. But it's a beautiful sunny day here but we certainly feel very, very poor here in Saint-Tropez. <laughs> Beautiful Saturday morning in Saint-Tropez. It's Saturday morning, so the markets are on, so we're about to go explore the markets. And then something that Grace has been looking forward to, <laughs> not so much me, but the Dior Cafe. For breakfast. For breakfast. And then going laying by the pool at a, a day, oh, sorry, what, like beach a club. beach club in, in the sunbeds. It's not Saint-Tropez without spending a day sipping cocktails at a beach club. We didn't book in advance, which was problematic, but we managed to secure a spot at Ramachili Beach at Tiki Bar. Our final stop in the south of France was Avignon. This city's main attraction is Palais de Pop, which translates to Pope's Palace. Prior to the Pope's return to Rome in the 14th century, this palace was the residence of the Pope. Palais de Pop is super impressive and is one of the largest and most important medieval Gothic buildings in all of Europe. We really enjoyed the gorgeous interior and the serene gardens in the palace. Another major attraction of Avignon is the bridge, which is a medieval bridge built in the 12th century. It sits upon the Rhone River with only four arches of the original bridge remaining today. Despite its partial state, we love standing atop the bridge enjoying the picturesque views of Avignon behind the aqua blue water of the Rhone. Provence absolutely charmed us with its stunning landscapes, turquoise blue gorge and charming villages, while Saint-Tropez wowed us with its glamorous beaches and luxurious vibes. Vernon Gorge was certainly my highlight, but all of these destinations are a must visit for anyone seeking a mix of relaxation and excitement in the south of France.